Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. It is August 29th, 2023. Um, T minus, can I do math? 18 days till I fly out from here on the East Coast to Iceland for FanFest. That said, a um, couple things I'm going to go over today. Uh, if you haven't seen this series before, please feel free to check out the playlist in the description from the get-go. I don't want to spend time repeating everything that I say in every video because it wastes a little bit of time because these videos are time-stamped at 30 seconds or 30 minutes. Whoa, 30 seconds would be bad. We'd be done now. No, actually, we would have been on 16 seconds ago. That said, uh, a couple things I want to go over today or show you or have fun with. Um, these videos are focused on people who have limited playtime and still having fun. Also, uh, this is my daily kind of video-ish type stuff. So while I'm doing other things, um, or just traveling, I can talk about different things. I have recently been talking about my trip to Iceland. It's my first trip overseas ever. I have my trusty... Uh, suitcase back here that you can kind of see um, that I've been slowly loading up with a few things. I talked about my boots that I got that I've been watching videos on. Uh, I got my uh, my power um, uh, transfer thing. I, what's it called? Uh, Two-pack European travel plug. There we go. I got two of them for that. Um, and a really great comment yesterday, uh, I have to do some research on it. Somebody uh, gave me some information about using plugs. Um, and I'm going to check out YouTube on that. Um, and then my thing for today, and this is kind of funny. Um, so I talked recently. Oh, uh, so I'll go over this real quick. I just want to let you guys know. Um, going to do this. And then I got gameplay stuff coming up here in a second. Uh, we're going to be traveling into Nullsec and having fun there. And I got some bad news revolving around that, uh, what happened to me yesterday with my main character. But it's ironic because it directly affects what happens here today. Um, and then last but not least, actually uh, second but not least, um, I have a way for you guys to get free or inexpensive chew toys for your canine if they need it. Um, I would not suggest using these two toys, but we'll get to that here in a second. But here's the ironic part. Okay, so Eve at the end, most of the videos of that, but just want to hit these real quick. This is ironic. I talked a little while ago about my goal uh, before I go on this trip to lose about 45 pounds. Um, I still want to lose some more weight, um, but I also needed to get a um, weatherproof jacket um, before I go, because I really have not worn it. I either wear coats, uh, sweatshirts, or shirts, um, and I really don't own a jacket. Um, and I was about to buy one, and then I was cleaning up the house, and I found this. Um, ironically, uh, if you can't tell, uh, let's just see here. Um, I work for a certain corporation. Uh, I'm a low, very, very low-level warehouse worker, but I get free stuff every once in a while. One Christmas... Um, for a Christmas gift, they gave me a really nice jacket. Ironically, it was the wrong size because um, I was I was a little pudgy at the time. Um, and I found this, and now that I've lost my weight, I don't have to spend money on a jacket. It's got a nice hoodie. Um, I've been watching videos about going around in Iceland. They say you need to have a hoodie. Um, I need to make sure that this is weatherproof or get some of that weatherproof spray or something. I don't know. Um, but it was free, and it's a it's a nice jacket, so I'm really happy with that. So, so we got boots, we got the converter, and we got the jacket. Um, other stuff coming down the road. As far as gameplay, um, we'll get to that here in a second. Um, real soon, real soon. Don't want to tell you about that. But here is my, um, as far as getting free chew toys, she has not shown up yet. We played a lot this morning, but you know she's going to show up. Maya will be around. Um... But I found the greatest way to get chew toys that you should never use. You should never use these chew toys, but they are free. And it would be these. Remote controls. <laughs> this is my remote control to um, my uh, TV converter box for my cable. Um, I don't actually have cable TV, but I've got cable, the free stuff, and then I can do the stuff. Uh, this is a third one. 
third one that I've gone through, she has decided recently that if it has my scent on it, that if I'm not paying attention for more than 15 minutes, she might actually eat something. So she's eaten two of these plus a regular my regular TV remote, and now I'm having to make sure everything is put away. Um, some of you might be saying, well, she's got... There she is! There she is! I told you she'd be around. There she is. Right on cue. Right on cue. Now, let's see if she could... See this? And she goes away because she knows she got in trouble. Hey, maybe this is a good learning tool. So I've got to start putting everything away. Um... Something that a lot of people, I'll, I'll keep this really short. Um, some of you dog lovers out there might know this. It is a form of separation anxiety. If you have your scent on different things, clothing um, uh, or items, and I always have this remote on me whenever I'm watching TV, um, dogs are attracted to that and uh, they will, and I'm not a dog behavioralist or anything like that, but in general, uh, they will, if they are, uh, feeling a form of separation anxiety or you're not paying enough attention to them depending on their personality that's why they mostly chew on things that you own that's why they may go after your boots because or shoes that's why they have uh because they have a lot of scent mine have a lot of scent socks um even underwear um remote controls um things that are small that they can grab a hold of um so if you're not giving your dog enough attention, don't get mad at them for chewing on something. Maybe it's something that you're doing. This is my SPCA or something uh, be nice to your dog video thing. So there's a lot more about that that you can look up on YouTube. Um, so I'm not mad at her. I've had to change the way I'm doing things and, um, and also make sure in being a Husky German Shepherd, Huskies are very, very... Um, uh, people friendly, but need a lot of attention and a lot of interaction. A lot of people don't know that about them. I think the general rule is they need real interaction for about two hours a day. Um, so I learned that getting her. Or my old dog, Amanda, if you watch my old, old, old videos, uh, she was very self-sufficient. She would stare at me all the time, but she was very self-sufficient. She was a Brittany. Um, miss her a lot, uh, if you watch my old videos. Um, that said, we're going to move on from that before I tear up. Let's get into Eve. Alrighty. So we're at seven minutes. We've got 23 minutes. Today is going to be travel time through, um, Nolsec. If I can make it to where I need to go. Now it's only a short distance. Um, the irony is where I'm going to is where my main character, uh, Pilgrim is stationed kind of at the area that he's in. He doesn't stay at one NPC station. He stays at multiple ones in an area. Um, but I'm going there to pick up maybe some items uh, and also give you guys a uh, just a kind of watch through of me getting there. So let's get out of here. Um, we got our daily starter gifts. Nice one today. Day eight um, is 25,000 skill points. Now, I'm not using any of these bonus skill points that I get each day. Saving them up. Um, I'm going to stay... Um, I'm going to stay uh, alpha for quite some time, but at some point I will switch over. Um, and then uh, Destroyer, and tomorrow's a big day too. I get a Destroyer skill book so I can move into um, a, a larger uh, ship that can do more damage. This is kind of my, my idea, my first step. And when you get a Destroyer, um, you can actually destroy NPCs in Nullsec, like battleships and battle cruisers. It can take some time. And yes, technically you can do that with frigates, but with a destroyer, if you know what you're doing, you can even go after some of the clone soldiers that are out there, which are kind of fun to do. And that is one of those things that we could do going forward. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump in here. We got three skills completed yesterday, so we'll do a check on that, maybe at the end of the video, see what we got. Oh, shoot, yeah, I do need to check out um, where the skill plan is. Again, I haven't done skill plans before. I'm trying to do them here, so I want to see how that works out. Now, I think I logged off in space. We're about to find out. Honestly, the other things that happened yesterday with my main character, I've now forgotten most of what I did yesterday. Yes, I did log off yesterday in space. Uh, there is nobody here. Good. Oh, wow. I'm only... Oh, no. It's updating. There we go. You always want to give it just a second um, 
to update because uh, at least like 30 seconds because if you I don't know if you saw over here if you want to rewind it a little bit it did not have exactly where I was at it said I was one jump away from YKE which is my destination but I'm actually four jumps away so that updated another big one is when you boot up a lot of times your um, local will not update right away it can take a little maybe a, a minute or two or not a minute like 30 seconds to a minute so if you undock right away uh, there is a slight chance that you could be attacked now luckily in our local right now we got nobody in system so that's a good thing um, secondly um, I'm going to check my map here and see as far as my directions to where I'm going uh, I've got Joran here, Hemin here, RMOC, and YKE. Okay, so we're going to jump through this real quickly. i got nobody in system, so I'm going to jump. Direct, and I'm, I'm in a safe spot. Ah, that's what I needed to do. There is, and I, I always have it up, so I never forget, remember the hotkey for doing this. So I apologize. Um, we're going to go into shortcuts. I need to figure out, and I got to be do this quick because I don't have. I'm in a safe spot, but I am in NPC null, so somebody could get me. So now let's see here. Um, safe spots, save location is Control B. You'll see me do that a lot. Control B, and then uh, locations. Is that? Uh, let's see here. Pitch up. What I'm trying to do is figure out what the box is, and some of you guys probably know what it is. But I always keep my local up and then the box for my save spots up. Um, de, 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 de. Maybe it's here. Acceleration, autopilot, deceleration, pitch, location, select new target, set full speed, stop, tactical camera, no, 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 no. You'll understand when I get there, when I find it. Okay, maybe not there. General, maybe. Um, toggle window out, outside structure. View outside structure. That's interesting. Um, a lot of stuff on here I don't use, which I should. Okay. So we're going to try something differently. Um, I'm going to start. Oop. See, notice somebody did just come into system. So I need to be a little bit careful now. I'm going to pull up my D scan. He is in a rapier. So a rapier is a. Um, Tech 2, um, you can do some stasis webifying and do some covert opping. So um, maybe I should dock up right now. Hmm. D-scan again. So he is somewhere near me. I'm not seeing any combat probes out here. So let's go ahead and see if one of these stations is clear. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to drop my range down. So he's within five clicks of me. Okay. But he's not within one click of me. Now, if you want some directional scanning, I'll probably do some more stuff. Oop, we got another guy coming in the system. Hey, this is interesting. Good, good, good. I just want to make sure that I'm safe for a little while. I don't know why I pulled that up. Okay, D -d -d -d. let's, um, so we got nobody here within 1.5. Now I could go to Jorand. I'm in Daril. Daril. Now let's check out Daril. I'm currently here. I want to go to Jorand, Hemin, RMOC, and YKE. So Jorand is my next jump. No one, oh wait, that's within 1.5 so somebody could be on the gate there interesting gotta be careful so what we'll do is we'll lower our range and we're gonna v scan or directionally scan durant no one is there we're gonna be we're gonna try and jump through this real quick again i'm gonna take a few more uh liberties um chances here because i am in a really cheap ship in a brand new character i'm not really losing anything um if i die um and we're just going to try and get out of this system and keep moving there's a lot of different ways that you can keep yourself way safe all i did there 
was I checked to see if he was in range of these gates and uh, that one guy was. Um, okay, don't have any save spots here. Good, good, good. Anybody on this side? You want to check your this right away? Good. Now, planet. Going to pick a random planet here. Warp within 100. Just get off this grid as quickly as possible. I'm going to save a safe spot. Right near the gate. So, um, there we go. So, when I do come back through, I think I talked about this yesterday. When I do come back through, I've got a safe spot near that gate so I can warp to it versus warping directly to the gate. Good. Oh. Oh, that was stupid of me. I didn't reset my directional scanning. Okay, so I got one guy in system right now. I'm just looking here to see if he is in space. I'm not seeing him. So we're going to try to go to Hemin real quick. Now, all these gates are near each other, so um, that's interesting. It could be useful for me down the road. Um... Here's another one, and I, I really wanted to talk about this. Uh, I'm going to say something in general. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, if you want to check the directional scanning out, this is not a tutorial set of videos for new players. But if you pick up anything along the way, it could be. In my biggest suggestion, other than just going through the original tutorial stuff, we got nobody in the system, we're going to jump straight through here. Uh, if there is one thing that I think every new player should try to learn within their first three weeks or so, um, is directional scanning. Not only does it um, keep you safer, it gives you a, and give you a better understanding of what's around you, um, but it makes the game more fun. In my mind, it makes the game a livable world you see who's out there not just the points in your um general overview here but the things that are in space around you that might not show up on your overview that are over your um tactical area now okay we're in rmoc still nobody here so we're gonna go yke now again i'm flying a little bit more dangerously and i'm not saving safe spots safe one. I'm just going to do a safe one. There we go. Okay, I got another safe spot in the system. I should have saved one in the last one. I'm talking too much. Um, so my plan right now is to get to my station in YKE where my main character is. There I have scavenged and taken a bunch of items off of uh, rats and uh, NPC ships that are out there that I might be able to outfit myself with for cheap. Ooh, we got five people in system. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to warp to a random spot here. Warp within 100. Control B. Safe. Let's get off the gate. There we go. Okay. Oh, cool. This is going to be fairly near the station. That's important to me. Now, I'm directionally scanning here. I've got the station within range. And I'm showing nobody at the station. Now, there are, you guys that are out there, if you're saying, Nope, there's some ships that, um, that uh, do not show up in directional scanning. Yes, you are true. I don't want to go into that. Um, I'm flying... A cheap ship I got for free. I'm not worried about that right now. There's only a few ships that are out there, and usually um, they're going for. They, uh, I've not seen a lot of them. Ha! It's kind of funny because they don't show up in directional scanning. Um, but long story short, uh, they uh, aren't looking for somebody like me. And if they do kill me, well, I got a kill report that's kind of funny. Um, okay, so I'll show you where I'm at. Um, and I'll tell you what happened to me yesterday. Now, um, but first off, this is one of the stations that I have kind of dropped off a bunch of stuff in. I don't have that stuff with this character. What I'm going to do whenever I play later on today with my main character is I'm going to fly here. Actually, I have already flown here. Um, 
because of what happened. Um, and I'm going to go through my junk that I have just lying around, and I'm going to I'm going to contract it over to this character. So maybe I can outfit something a little bit there, or at least take something back to me with the high sec, so that I can sell that stuff and get something that's worthwhile. That said, drink drinking some coffee. Yesterday I got killed. Um, it's been the first time in a very long time. Um, and I was fooling around and not paying attention. Um, and there's way too long of a story behind it, but I made one misclick and it caused me to lose. I, in my main character, I have a hurricane that I built myself that I use scavenge parts. I, I, it's kind of fun the way that I play. I don't go out and buy stuff with that character. Everything I have, I build from it. And um, so I had a little bit of an attachment to that ship, and I died with it. I also lost the implants that I'd gotten in the event from the 20th anniversary back in May, and they were pretty expensive. Um, so uh, I actually turned the computer off and walked away. <laughs> I, I went in a, a mini, mini tilt thing, not because I got killed by somebody. If you undock in this game, you should expect to be killed. Now, you won't happen, if you're doing it right, it won't happen to you very often. I haven't died in months. Um, but I took too many things for granted. I didn't recognize my type of ship, and I made one misclick that caused me to get caught by some guys that were hunting me down who really knew, I think, they knew what they were doing. Uh, they definitely knew how to go after people. Um, so maybe I'll do a side video to that down the road um, where I talk about that and what you need to pay attention to. Uh, that said, we got eight minutes left. So let's take a gander at what we got here. Um, boo, boo, boo. So we're just claiming this. Oh, we've gone through 25 Stargates. Yay! Um, so we get a little bit of more ISK. Fine. Now, um, ooh, we got some frigate skins and some skill points. Let's go ahead and Get rid of these. Redeem at current station. Bring those in. So, uh, Rifter skin. Aha! Open container. So when I build my Rifter, I got something to, some skins for it. Nice. So let's see what we got for skins here to drop them in. Yep, we got a Rifter crucial skin. Show the info off of it. Boy, this is running slow today. Come on, buddy. So that's what the skin will look like once I build my rifter here in a little while. Cool. Okay. Um, other things we need to do is go into the skills. So I should be almost done. I've got 16 hours left of the Minmatar Enforcer skill. Uh, Air Minmatar Enforcer. So... Um, I've said in the past I want to move on to the Minmatar Mission Runner skill plan. Let's take a look at that one here. Show the skill plan contents. Got a lot to work on here. Nice. Okay. Now some of these things I've got to buy. Well, that's no fun. Now I don't want to buy a destroyer um, skills. Um, oh, so I got to wait to get that. Did I? Because I'm going to be getting the Minmatar Destroyer skill book tomorrow. So I want to... I don't know if... Because it is automatically asking me if I want these. Um, boop, 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 boop. Let's go through it here real quick. We've got Destroyer, Destroyer. We've got... Oh, they're throwing some Infomorph Psychology in here. So this is where you can build a second clone. Um, that could be helpful. Um, and then we've got shield operation, which is good for a brifter. Um, got connections, which will help me, um, do the, uh, that is corporations and factions per level. Oh, it helps me increase my ratings with them. Now there should be, oh, negotiation is where I make more money. Aha. Okay. So the question is, um, 
do I, can I load this with, I can't, you cannot start training this plan if you don't meet all the requirements. You may need to purchase some of the skill books. Okay, so I would have to skill, purchase these six skill books to start this plan, um, which is not what I want to do just yet because I'm going to be getting that free uh, skill book tomorrow. I know it's not that much ISK, but I want to try it out. Try it, go by the rules here. Um, so let's find a skill, skill catalog that I can throw in here that doesn't affect, that I need, that doesn't affect that skill that I can throw in for long term. That way it's just sitting there. And then let's do, I'm, one of my favorites is power grid management. I'm going to do power grid management. There we go. Because you always need more power grid. Um, it's going to take nine days. So if I forget to set up my skill plan tomorrow, um, once I get that skill book, I'll at least not be wasting time without my skills. So that's good. Okay. So, bu -bu 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 -bu. we got about three minutes left. Let's take one last look at this skill plan. Because it's going to be setting me up for flying a destroyer. So let's go take a look at the destroyer. Oh, we're going to go back to skill plans that they are saying that I should fly. Because it will give you... So it's a Thrasher, Minmatar, Enforcer ship. And this is what all those skills here are doing to get this up and running. So it's got seven guns, which is more than the three that I currently have on my ship. Um, it's got a uh, shield booster, which increases your recharge rate. Um, afterburner gets me going faster. A multispectral shield hardener, so this increases the um, damage resistance of my shields. Um, they're throwing on a tech to damage control on this one. So those skills will allow me to get into here. Um, and then a counter, this, the gyro stabilizer increases the damage of my uh, seven guns. So that's interesting. Then we've got two rigs on here. The, uh, uh, the first one being your aerator, which I think uh, increases your, either your, yes, this increases your damage, um, rate of fire, um, and then they've got a capacitor control unit, interesting, attributes, the ship modification is designed to increase the ship's capacitor recharge rate, so it, that, now that's interesting, so, oh, I see, so, um, got a little bit of time here, two minutes, you know, the projectile weapons don't do a lot of damn, don't use any capacitor, which all other guns do, so these um, control units increase the recharge rate so I can keep my booster and my afterburner and my uh, uh, hardener going longer. So that's interesting. Good. Then I've got four different types of ammo. Um, they range from fusion, which is short range, um, doing certain types of damage. I think uh, explosive and kinetic. And then EMPS, which is your short range, um, uh, what should we call it? Your short range, the other damage types. <laughs> Nuclear, if I'm not mistaken, is your long range uh, guns or ammo, um, but doesn't do as much damage as the other ones. So very interesting there. And then plasma uh, does the in-between type here. Okay. So stuff for us to look on. So this is the ship that we're going to be working our way up to. Now, I'll be getting the skill book tomorrow, but I won't. I'll be flying home with some of the stuff I've contracted out. You'll see if I've got some good stuff for this ship. I can trans. I'll do a contract over to it from my main character. We'll pick those up in the video tomorrow, and then we'll try to get home with that stuff so we can outfit a rifter. We'll fly around in the rifter for a couple of sessions, doing a few low-level agent missions while I'm skilling up in the skill plan, which will take about eight days. Um, and then we'll outfit the Thrasher uh, with some more stuff. But in between time, I'll be able to do some missions and try that out. There'll be low-level missions, so you'll have to listen to me talk a lot. Um, but something there. 
Last but not least, you see this, and I'll probably say this over and over again because I'll forget that I've said it. Um, but notice I have the 45 unallocated skill points. I'm going to try my hardest not to use any of those as they accumulate over time um, because um, once you hit 5 million skill points as a alpha character, um, you stop accumulating, but you can still add on unallocated skill points. Now I may go Omega by that time with this character, but if I don't, it will allow me to still have a bank of skill points there. So we'll go ahead and go with that. I, I reserve the right to change my mind on that, but that's my current goal. I never did tell you guys how I died. Maybe next video. <laughs> all right. So that's all I got for today, guys. Hey, uh, I hope you're having a great day, great weekend, um, or weekdays. This is my weekend. I have I go back to work tomorrow, so I'll be a lim little bit limited on videos in the next couple of days. Um, but then I'll hit them back up uh, probably Saturday night or Sunday if I don't throw one in between. Um, work right now is very tiring and um, both intellectually and I, I hate to say this emotionally tiring um i get home and i'm just exhausted which uh, i still play eve with my main character and i'll still do each day with this one but making a video on top of that probably a little bit limited for a little while so i'll see you guys next weekend if not earlier and i will talk to you later fly safe fly dangerously fly out if you want i'll talk to you soon Bye bye